Vargas. Gosh. Rumor has it you read all three features this week. I know. I think it's a it's a record for me. It is a record. Three for three. Yeah. So uh, we have two covers. One of our covers is about Levi's. I, why don't you tell everybody what it's about since you read it? Basically, Levi's has not been doing so well because companies like Lululemon and other companies that produce athleisure wear have been taking over the market, especially the women's market. We got great photos. It was really pretty easy to put together. Their lab in San Francisco was pretty interesting. And we got a great photo of a pair of jeans on a machine and someone is spray painting it. And so we started to play around with language um, on it. Then we came up with a cover line, American Booty, which we liked. Um, we tried it in kind of stitching that referenced the stitching on Levi's jeans, but it was kind of legible. And so then we went um, with this kind of girly font since the piece is basically about um, the women's market and we thought it worked. We also have a European cover. Mm -hmm. You want to tell everybody what that's about? <laughs> Sure, there is an airport in Berlin that apparently has been struggling to open because of mismanagement and poor planning. It's been delayed for years now. Um, it's well over budget, and everyone is kind of just pointing fingers at each other. You know, we've done a lot of Germany covers, a lot of Greece covers, a lot of Angela Merkel covers, and frankly, we couldn't resist doing a cover that's sort of Schadenfreude from the rest of Europe about Germany's own mild screw up. Right. Are there any other stories you want to tell people about? Not really. Well, I will just point people to, to two more. One is about Ruth Porat, who's the CFO of, of Google, who came in from Morgan Stanley and has been there for about three months, and yet somehow the market has responded as if she is a miracle worker. And we just sort of dive into what exactly she's done. And then I would also point people to our politics and policy lead, which is a profile of a really boring seeming bank, which just so happens to be the place of deposit for everyone running for president on the GOP side. I urge everyone to read it, Rob, including you. Next week. Next week.